Hey guys, what is up? It's Rundle here, back with part two of the No Iron Challenge. Now, the end of the last video ended kind of abruptly, and that's because my dog went crazy. You probably heard her bark at the end. And it took me about 15 or 20 minutes to get her calmed down and sorted out. And in that time, a husk killed me, which was already bad enough, except I also did not have a bed placed nearby, so I spawned back at the original spawn. And I hadn't put anything in this chest, so by the time I made it back here, uh, all I have left is eight cobblestone on the ground and a large empty chest. Yeah, so that's fun. That means I lost all my diamonds and my stone tools and anything else I had gathered. So I get to work on that for now. But um, yeah, before we get real in depth with anything I'm doing right now, uh, if you could hit that like button, that'd be appreciated. If we can hit 10 likes on this video, I will be very satisfied. Just 10 likes, 10 people out there, out of the millions of people that could see this, need to hit the like button. That's all it needs. Alrighty, so it's, I guess it's really just building everything again. Um, sorry if there's background noise, I cannot tell. I also have no food, which is a huge issue. I lost all of the food including the awesome amount of bread that I would have had. Yeah, he's not offering anything good still. I do believe I see some animals over there. Hopefully they drop food. I know cats don't, but... Nope. Baby villager. Of course. Um... So I might starve to death here, honestly. Oh, nope, there's pigs. Or a pig and a cow. Alrighty, there we go. Food. I do believe that's another village in distance over there, too. I did not, uh, check that out. Because I didn't see it last video. So we will get to that in just a moment. Because that means food. So, we'll dive over here. Maybe there's a blacksmith. That'd be cool. <clears throat> Need to start generating health. There we go. Don't see a blacksmith yet, but I could be wrong about that. Now, there are a few gardens. What I'm really hoping for is some hay bales laying around. That's bread. Um, I don't see any of that, so... Oh, there we are. Alright, so if I can find a crafting table here already, that'd be nice. Yeah, so my main objective today is going to be finishing my house. 
and trying to make up for what I lost yesterday from yesterday. And I've been doing some thinking. There are some more creative ways to light a nether portal. The actual problem, though, is going to be getting a nether portal. Because <coughs> <coughs> that means obsidian. So, what the conclusion I've come to is that what I need to do is either... Well, actually, sorry. There's three possible ways of making a nether portal. The first is the most conventional. Get diamonds, mine obsidian, make the portal. Only problem is, to get diamonds you need iron, or get really lucky, like I did yesterday, and make another, or not another, uh, diamond pickaxe. Well, I lost those diamonds, so that's not an option. Because the odds of getting that lucky twice aren't high. Um, that leaves me with option two. I could find a lava pool and use buckets, except I'm not allowed with iron. This is the no iron challenge, so that option is rolled out. And the third option is to wander around looking for those nether. Um, portal things, like what I found yes in yesterday's video, part one, and find obsidian there. Now that would work, but finding those is probably going to be about as common as finding other things. So my only real options for finding or making another portal is either find another portal frame that's nearly complete and finish it. Or do that a couple times, you know. Find some obsidian in a the chest there, etc. But I'd have to find another portal. Or find diamonds. So in either case, I have to wander around and get lucky. But before I do any of that, I need a base. Some somewhere I can call home. A place I know I'll respawn at if I die. You know, just like a normal house. Okay, so... There is an iron golem here as well. I think you guys saw that yesterday. But, just in case you didn't, and you're new to the series, there's an iron golem there. Um, Alrighty. I'll make one of these. Let's see, what do I not need? I'll make another bed take it with me. on. Now this is a lava pool, so I could have done that water trick there, but no, that's not going to happen now. Um, they just get a lot of stone, really. Um, I do believe, on top of everything else, there is a blacksmith or armor trading coal for emeralds. It doesn't sound like much, but that could let me get chainmail armor, which I think is a step above gold and kind of just under iron, which technically chainmail isn't iron. It is uh, made from fire. I think I said that in yesterday's video, but for any of you trivia nerds out there, yeah, the official crafting recipe is just the same as any other armor piece, but literally with fire, like the unattainable block in Minecraft. Um, just getting pretty dark, pretty quick. 
Um, I think we're just gonna crash uh, a house here real quick. No bed, of course. Um, <coughs> there we go. I can only sleep at night. Might as well be night. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so I have a couple other ideas for another series I could start. Um, one of them being I try and I start in creative, build a portal to the nether, and just try to survive exclusively in the nether. You'll have to let me know what you think of that one. Um, the other is that I do a blindness challenge where I'm either permanently blind or another one where I have a random redstone machine and command blocks and I am just randomly blinded and unblinded. Um, leave a comment and tell me what you think would be a good video idea or a good idea for a series. I don't really know at this point what I plan on doing. All I know is that I'm doing a no iron challenge and it is hard. Another thing too is that gold will be pretty easily obtainable because while the gold ore in the overworld needs a um, iron pickaxe or better, in the nether as long as you have a pickaxe, even just a wooden one, you can mine the nether gold ore, which is pretty awesome. Let's see, six, eight total. So. Now I will need to start a farm. I think I might start one here at that well. Just let me grab some dirt actually. I'll do that in a bit. Um I just saw a spider. Alrighty, so after this little bit here, I should definitely be enough to finish up the house. Um, so I'll get to building that. Um, yeah, just give me a minute here.
I'm still not sure where I'm going as far as like my plans yet. After this house, I mean. Okay, so then... Yeah, so fun little trick here you can do is if you do one of these and you place your door, I think it's like this. Nope. enough for now. Technically, this is closed, and that's open. So closed and open. Since these doors are open, zombies cannot smash through them. Weird little trick, but it works. Let's get to work with this farm. We'll just get started. Oh, and that's the last of my pickaxe. Okay. One second. Sorry. I have to do that. Alrighty, let's look. Um, okay, stones basket I'm gonna get for tools. Stone sword. Preferably, I do get some armor. But I'm just not sure where I'm gonna get it from. Now that. I have lost it all. Explore here for a bit and see. Hey, plane spine. That is very well positioned. Now I know it would be more efficient to make a farm, but right now I'm just focusing on resources. Should be a village somewhere nearby. Either that or it's focusing on this one. In which case it's very poorly positioned. Oh, speak of the devil. I said I need another portal. And I got one. Again, I'm really liking the way these are generating. Just like on top of the water here. Right, let's see. Whoa, that's a lot of enchantments. 
projectile protection, depth strider, feather falling, on breaking. That's good. And I love golden nuggets. Flint and steel. I can't use it, which is a shame. And I do have some obsidian here. Oh, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Silk touch. Why not? Um, I think. If I could only just push these closer. Oh, no time to think, just time to run. That all looks, those holes back there looked suspiciously like a creeper explosion. I do believe I see another village over there too. I'll check that out very soon here. lag, although I don't really understand how. Oh. Head into that village real quick. Here. Just to see what's there. Should be lava underneath that stone by the way. So my house is mostly finished, so objective one, finish the house, is pretty good. Don't have a farm yet, but I do have a lot of food. I just need to get some wood to make a campfire. Oh, I can get used to that. Alrighty, let's see. Oh, this village is huge. Genuinely, I thought I'd have to climb that mountain. I mean, I guess I still do to see what's up there, but Oh wow, that axe is almost gone after two trees. Yeah, so gold, while it's the better option because it's faster, has no durability, so it's going to make this fun, to say the least. Um, because someone just saw an enderman there, like the particles. You know what I mean, like when they teleport? Because someone saw those particles there for a second. The same desert temple I went to, and I was just right by the. Yep. Hmm. So I was right by the village and didn't notice. Nice. Good one. Alright, so let's see if I can find. Yes.
don't even care. That grindstone's mine now. Wait. I don't think it has iron in its recipe. I think it's just like literally stone. Those don't have iron. Yeah, if those grindstones end up having iron in its recipe, I'll let you know in the next video. Oh, hey. Nice. I guess the golden boots are better. Um, oh yeah, the Death Strider. Oh, that's pretty nice. Forgot these things. I have Death Strider on them for a bit. Um, yeah, so my house is mostly done. Really, I just need like wood, torches, that kind of deal to make keep monsters from spawning in it. Um, but yeah, this is just real basic house. I always do mine like this. Maybe I'll add fences later, make it look a little better, and fix these doors. Um, let's see. Oh! Huh. Nah, not worth it. I mean, it would be for potions and light vision, but not much else. Um... Let's see, three gold ingots, that's pretty nice. I could smelt that. But I'm not really sure what that would do me. Um, let's see, what do I have in terms of leather? I do need a furnace. I'm wondering why. Oh, hey. Well, that's nice. Alrighty, so. Uh, yeah, I know this video, there's not terribly much happening. It's mostly just me grinding for resources. But, um. As soon as I actually have. Even just, like, leather armor. Then I can start taking on things a little bit more. Sorry, food's loud. It's interrupting my train of thought. I can start taking on more powerful things once I just have like that just real basic level of protection. That way I'm just not getting whooped literally every time I get hit. Um. <clears throat> yeah, you know, sorry if I'm clearing my throat too much. Something tickling it, and I uh. Cannot get it to stop. I'm really hoping my mic and the audio quality is better in this video. I know that the first one was not the best, but the second one didn't seem like it was too bad. Um, want plot that there.
Yeah, so we're just gonna cook a lot of food right now. Get that done. Need to get glass. Make potions, that'd be cool. Um Yeah, another thing I need to do is start fighting more monsters. I just, again, leather helmet and gold boots aren't exactly perfect for that. Uh, that's enough for now. It'll hold me over. Wait, what? Forgot arrows. Could go there. Um, let's see. Let's go try to find some leather. Or some cows, I mean. <laughs> just go find leather in the wild. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to try to get a leather chest plate, and then I'll sleep because it's getting closer now. And I will go mine for coal, I guess. Man, there's like a ton of mobs, but no cows. Go figure. All right. Um, let's go make. Oh. All oh, these dumb emojis. I wish I could just unassign the button. I wonder if I can do that. there. That's less than desirable. Stupid cave sounds. Actually, this is pretty nice. Alright, so we're just gonna get some coal. Try, I think it's like 14 to an emerald at that one blacksmith armor dude. Um, aside from that, I also just need coal for torches. I feel so wrong not to take the iron. You know, like you just see this, you just want to take it. You see, like, that, and you just want to take it all.
not really sure how much deeper I want to go. Because I'm not really sure if that's um, worth it. I believe now I can trade with that guy, provided I didn't destroy his workbench. Or he didn't die. Oh, please don't tell me he died. Um, of course, my sprint. I can't even trade with that guy. Maybe the. He might have been over at that other village. All right, well, I think I'm going to craft some more torches real quick. And that getting the house done is a pretty decent accomplishment. Well, maybe not decent, but it's just time consuming. But, um, this is a block of cool. Um,. Yeah, so I think that's going to be all for today's video. Uh, next video, which will probably be up tomorrow, maybe later today, I'm going to be trading with that guy for armor, and I'm going to spend that video trying to level that guy up so that I can get my chainmail armor. And then I will explore the world and try to find more obsidian to make another portal because that seems to be my best bet so far so in case you didn't earlier please like and subscribe you can always undo that if you suddenly decide that you don't like the video but um i will see you all later